Hi, welcome. In this session, let us see how to do test discovery in Python unit test framework and we will see how to run, execute the test in command prompt in Windows 10 operating system. I am Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. This is the Windows command prompt and this is the test unit test documentation. We already know the URL link and you see the documentation here, the command line interface, this has got can run the test using the module class or the test methods and there is an option of there is an option of doing a test discovery and uh, all the tests inside the folders or packages will be run uh, without specifying the methods or class or module names so for running from command you can go to the folder where where your project is so this is my folder demo unit test and if you go to pycharm here demo unit test is my folder and see python workspace demo unit space demo unit test and we already know how to run it from the windows terminal in here windows terminal within the within the pycharm but uh, it's a little clumsy out uh, in this place and it's a little congested so it's always better to run it from the uh, windows command prompt so let's see how to run it from command prompt and we'll see some uh, options like the test discovery and running as a module and test class and methods so uh, before running from command prompt you have to enable the virtual environment if your project has a virtual environment if you go to pycharm here now when you would have created the project you might have enabled the virtual environment in my case i have enabled it and uh, if you can see if you see here down in the bottom the vnv is the virtual environment and this you can identify based on this text in here venv it should be we should show up before the path in your terminal so uh, if you go here and i have to enable the activate the virtual env for that yeah, i have to go to venv which is the path where my virtual environment is installed scripts and there will be one batch file called activate i have to Click that and you should see the same here VNV and then my path. So now my virtual ENV is an, uh, enabled, and if you see the Python, you see the Python is 363 here. So let's see which first. Let's try the minus H help option, and you should see all the options available for running the. Let me make this a little bigger so that it's visible. So you see all the options help minus H uh, Varvos mode quite quite output and then fail. It will fail on the first error. Control C it will catch and buffer and then there is an option of discovery as well, which is used. Uh, I mean uh, minus B is used with that discovery option when you provide the discovery option. So let's see first thing here the whole command is basically same as the way which we run from in there uh, so python minus m sorry and come back here and python minus m unit test i will provide minus v and then the folder name the folder name for my test are my test i just named it as my test so that it's easier to identify my test and can provide the file name here my test that's simple and it will run specifying the file name i'm trying to run here so if i think you all would be knowing that module is basically the file in python so you can provide the module name instead of the file name this should also run so in my test simple calc there are five tests which are running so ran five tests so i can provide the module names only and let's try that option so there are two modules in my test test simple calc and with mock test dot pi so let me try to my test dot with mock test mock test and should see six tests here so if you see here 
and this one test case is within my uh, with mock test class file so there are six tests which run so using the module names you can run so the the easiest way is of course running with the discover test discovery option uh, but you can also run it using the test method name directly you can provide the test method name so let's see how to run a test method directly and for that we need to specify the full path to the test method so let us copy this whole string minus v and our path is my test test dot and then the module name test simple calc dot the class name I need to provide and then the method name so for example test simple sub here so when I try to run this so by default the setup class and the setup method ran and then the tier down method ran and then tier down class ran and of course in between our test also ran in between so this uh, this is how you can run a single test from the command line so next let us see the how to do the discovery if i go to the documentation you can see the discovery of the test without specifying anything you can run all the test in your folder so for that i can just type in python minus m unit test and it should take all the test from all the directories and it should run so we go to the command prompt and inside this demo unit test folder my test class is there and inside that there are two test modules are there or test files are there test class files are test simple calc and mock test so if i run only type only this with the v option it should run five test it will run it ran five tests because I'll tell you why and that is because by default when you when it does a discovery it will run for only those classes which are starting with test so in our case if i go to pycharm if in our case you see inside my test folder here i have two modules one is test simple calc and one is with mock test so by default only test simple calc ran because this this file is having this module is having test in the start of its name so if i see the documentation it will only run test star dot by file so if i come here you see only five tests ran which are there inside my test simple calc class file so there are only five tests there is one test which is inside mock test there is only one single test which did not uh, run in this case so for running this mock test if i want to run it what i can do is i can do a discover discover and i can specify the pattern so with mock test my test word is in the end so what i can do is i can do a star test dot py and if i run this it will run ran one test now in this case it, does, it didn't run the other one so it's, it's a good practice to name all your test in the same manner if you name everything with test starting uh, that's good but if you don't want to do that then name like with mock test a simple calc test like that you can do so it's always better to name it starting with test that's how in python unit test framework it takes so test star by default it takes so it's better to run uh, it's better it's easier to run in that in that format that's how you can use the test discovery option and if you see here there are other options like fail first stop the test run on the first error of failure you can try out this also there's a minus k option only run test and methods and classes that match the pattern or substring so matches foo dot test bar dot bar underscore test so all this foo will run this one will run this one will not run 
these are all the command line options for running the test which will be helpful if you want to run it from Jenkins or if you have a code check-in and trying to run from Jenkins automatically triggering the test and all and then there is an option of case of discovery start directory from which directory you want to start so by default it will start from the local directory in our case it has started from demo unit test folder under this it has all my other folders my test folders is also inside demo unit test so that's pretty much about the test command line test running and test discovery thank you and see you in the next session